third-party call control with Cisco 7800 and 8800 series phones. So I posted a couple videos of the 8800 series phones, the 8841s, 45s, 65s, 61s, and a lot of you guys' comments was, how do I get this phone registered to something besides Cisco? How do I get it registered to Ring Central, OnSIP, 8x8, a bunch of companies I've never even heard of before. And, you know, the one thing that uh, you guys got to know if you're going to take a Cisco phone and register it to a non-Cisco call control is you have to purchase a special model phone. So if you're going to buy a 8861 or a 41 or whatever, you got to make sure in the part number it says third-party call control, 3PCC. There's two ways to verify this. Number one, you can look at the bottom of the phone. This is a uh, 8831 conference room phone that I've got right here. I'll hold it up so you guys can see it. And if you take a look at that PID right there, it does show 3PCC in the model number. The other way is to take a look at the model information on the phone there. So you can see here too that this is a 3PCC. So if you go into the settings, um, into the info portion, there it is, okay? So first, purchase a phone that is third-party call control capable, all right? Number two, once you get the phone, plug it in, and it's going to pull DHCP. Take a look at the IP address of what you guys got right here. So you can see mine is 192.168.128.9. All right. So once you have that verified and then you pulled a IP address, now what we can do is we can go in and we can actually configure this phone. And this is a, this is where this differs from a Cisco phone um, through through a Cisco phone that you can third party control is I could actually web to it and I have a full display here on my browser. So when you log in initially and you go straight to the IP address, it's going to take you to the user login page, which is just a bunch of information on the phone. You can go in, you can take a look at some basic stuff over here. Uh, you know, not too much, not too much uh, that you can do from this. So what you want to do is you want to go over to the admin login page at the top right, click admin login. And then from here, um, you might have to go into the advanced settings too, I believe it is. And now... I have control and I can actually modify this phone and add it to whatever calling service that I want. So, you know, I just signed up for a free OnSIP account right here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to register this to, to OnSIP. I'm sure the process is pretty similar for the rest of these guys out here. Um, you know, by all means, you don't have to go with this. I'd love you guys to all use Cisco Spark because I think it's a phenomenal service. But if you're already in a contract and you want to use the cool new Cisco phones, you can definitely do that. So in voice, we're going to go under extension. And here is all my SIP proxy information, uh, my authentication, user IDs, my passwords, everything that you'll need to get this phone registered to whatever third-party service that you guys want. With OnSIP here, you know, I log into their page, I go to their users, I select, you create a user first, and then here's Johnny Phones that I made. And when you go in the bottom right corner, here's the information that you need to enter into the phone. So over to my phone page here, you can see that I've entered all that in. So proxy information, joescompany.onsip.com, up on proxy, sip.onsip.com, display name, John, password, that password is the sip password, that's this funky looking string of characters right there, and what else here, so user ID, jphone, that came from username, and then auth username, that's where auth ID is on this. And then the other thing that I had to do here, and I found this really interesting when I was when I was talking to Onsip, is um, they don't actually have a dial plan. You kind of have to define your own dial plan in here, which I thought was, was pretty crazy. So I can't do things on a global level. I have to do it on a phone level to just block calls or route things a certain way or dial 9 to get out. You know, you have to create that yourself and add that to, to every single phone. So what I did is here is just a, a blank mask 
12 X's, get me out to the PSTN, whatever I got to do. Um, and, and that's it. Once you're done, you have all this information entered in, you submit all the changes and the phone, this phone here literally took, I don't even know, 10 seconds, not even to come up and we were working. So guys, this should work with any phone, again, that says 3PCC in it. And the ones that are supported today, 7800 series phones, the 8851, the 8841, the 8861, um, those are all supported. There are a couple that are not in the 8800 series, so, so make sure you check before you purchase those phones. And just to show you guys that this works, I've got this guy registered here. I'll show you some dial tone, or you'll hear some dial tone. And what we'll do here is we'll call 1-800-Flowers, so I'm just going to dial 1-800-Flowers. Come to 1-800-Flowers.com. If you're calling to... And there you guys go. You hear the phone calling out to 1-800-Flowers.com. Place a call, no problem. And I need to mention one important thing here too. So even though you had to purchase a special phone to register it to Ring Central or Ape 8 or any of those guys out there, this third-party call control, it's important to note that when your contract is up with those providers, you can take those phones and you can register them directly over to either Cisco Communication Manager if you want an on-premise type of solution, or they can be registered to Cisco Spark. So you do have the option of taking it from whatever system you have today and bring it over to Cisco Call Control. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Please um, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and let me know if you have any questions, post in the comments, and I'll try to answer everything I can. Thanks a lot.